Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing on with our movie poster series, we are adding elements to Robbie here. We've added a tattoo, we've changed his pants design, and we've improved upon his gun. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of mud to his shoes, and I'm going to do it entirely with Photoshop filters. So, access the smart object of Robbie and create a new layer. We'll call it shoe mud. Grab the paint bucket tool, go ahead and fill it with black. Make sure your foreground color is black and your background color is white. Go to filter, render, clouds. And we get this interesting but unrealistic cloud effect. Now we go back to filter, we go to stylize, and go to find edges. Now we go to image, adjustments, levels, and we want to change the levels so the darkness and the texture of this layer shows. Generally, you do that by changing the mid levels and the low levels toward the darkest part of the image. Press OK. Now go to filters, sketch, plaster. And that basically isolates and separates the black and white areas to give it a kind of a spotty mud effect. But of course it doesn't look anything like mud yet because it's all black and white. Press OK. Now with the magic wand tool, go ahead and zoom in. And select one of the black portions of the image, which will select all of the black in the image. Then press delete. This will make it so only the whiter parts of the image are showing. Now press Command or Control and press I. That will invert the mud pieces. Then go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance, and drop the cyan, magenta, and yellow so you get kind of this brownish effect going on with a tad hint of red. Press OK. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can get an idea of what it looks like. A little bit on the brown side. Obviously we have too much going on here all over him and we don't want that. So grab the marquee tool, select everything except for the area where his feet are, and press Command and Control X. That generally gets rid of it. Or you can get super precise with it. You can grab one of the uh, Robbie mask layers, such as this one right here. You command or control click on it and that highlights the mask and then make sure your shoe mud layer is selected and select add layer mask. That'll make it so it isolates everything to his pants and his shoes. But of course we have certain areas right here that look too symmetrical. So we make sure that the layer is selected not the mask. We grab the eraser tool and we just get rid of pieces of it so it looks a little more realistic. That's better. Now, zoom in on it a little bit. It looks pretty unrealistic right now, but that's fine. We're almost done. Change the opacity to 75% so it has a little bit of translucence. Then grab the smudge tool and just brush around it a little bit. Now go to your FX panel, go to drop shadow, and give it a very minor drop shadow with a distance of only one pixel. That helps add to it just a little bit. It's a semi-realistic mud effect that you can do entirely in Photoshop, so you don't have to find mud effects that onto another image. But, of course, it's always warranted to do that because you're taking from actual pictures. I just wanted to show you the power of Photoshop's own filters. So let's go ahead and save that. 
And now let's go to the freezer burn poster to take a look. And it adds a pretty cool effect. There's before and there's after. Now, if you really want to take it to the next level, you can add a little bit of mud effect to the pavement that he's on, and that will continue adding the realism that we're going for in this poster. So we're pretty much done with Robbie. We're going to add another character in. His name is Corey. He's going to be to the left of Zero, and we're going to have a couple of lessons with him. But after that, all we have to do is add the titling and a few extra effects, and we'll be done with the poster. So we're getting there, folks. Stay tuned.